What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and welcome to the Super Secret Ninja class. Today I'm going to show you how to combine files into a picture on the down low. So right here I've got this JPEG and what I'm going to do is hide this text document inside of this JPEG. And the JPEG will still be visible if you click on it. It will just show you if you're in Windows 8 or 10, it will just show you your photo options on the... Uh, on, let me see if I click over here. Continue. You see how the picture tools comes up right here? It's still going to show you that even though we're going to have uh, hidden files inside of it. You can combine any files inside of this JPEG. You can put a movie in there if you wanted to. You could put a music file in there. You could put another picture in there. You could put whatever you want inside of there. The only thing that you need to be aware of is that it will change the file size. So as you can see right now on this image, I have 209 kilobytes. Uh, if I add a movie to that, obviously the file size of the picture is going to be much larger and that might tip someone off that's looking at file sizes that's trying to find something that's hidden inside of your computer. But if you have like a text document in here that's 156 bytes, this will fit right inside of that image and it won't even change the file size of the image. So no one even know if they are even looking for something hidden like a 209 kilobyte image is completely plausible. You know what I mean? No one's going to be f seeing a big discrepancy there and try to be looking for this trick. So now let's just go ahead and get started. I'm going to put a new folder on the local disk C and I'm going to title it hide. And then what I'm going to do is put my photo that I want to hide something in inside of that folder. And then I want to take my hidden message document here and send it to a zip file. And I'm actually just gonna uh, go ahead and rename it to secret.zip and I'm gonna put that in that same folder. And it's good just to keep them, these names short. You don't have to, but it's just easier. You definitely don't wanna have any spaces anywhere like that. Just makes things a lot easier And when we get into the command prompt. So the next thing to do, get into the command prompt. I'm gonna right click this Windows uh, icon over here and hit command prompt. And I'm gonna type in CD backslash which is gonna put us in the C drive. And then I'm gonna put CD hide, which is gonna put us in the hide folder. And as you can see now, I'm in the C drive in the hide folder. And the next thing I'm gonna do is combine the binary data from the zip file and the JPEG into a new JPEG. So the way to do that is to type copy forward slash B and then the name of your JPEG. So mine's Turing JPEG plus secret.zip. And now we just need to create a name for the new JPEG and I'm just gonna put Alan Turing underscore Turing. Again, no spaces, it's just a good, good method to be using all the time, underscores and uh, dashes where you want spaces. So .jpg, and you wanna make sure that it's a .jpg just like this. If it was a PNG, you'd wanna make sure that the new folder will be, the new file will be a .png as well. And then just hit enter. And as you can see, it says turing.jpg secret.zip, one file copied, and it's just gonna return it. And you can see over here, we can get out of the command prompt that a new file has been created. And if I click on it, it gives me my picture tools. If I open it, it's still the same image as this one. So for all intents and purposes, you can even look 210 kilobytes, 210 kilobytes. No one knows that there's a file inside of here. But if I go into my programs and go to the WinWare, which is what I use to unzip packages and open it, and I go into the Alan Turing dot uh, JPEG and double click, you can see that it opens up the new uh, inside of the JPEG essentially where my text file is hidden. But there it is. If I try to open up this regular JPEG, it will just open the JPEG itself. But that one that we copied the zip file into, if I double click, we'll open it and we'll see the text file right there. And that is how you make and access hidden documents inside of photos. Anyway, I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time. Peace.